So, welcome everybody. I'm going to be looking at the next ship in the lineup review, which is by Master Tiberius. Uh, what's the name of this ship? This is called the Nova Class Titan. I'm going to loop my... around it for a bit and while you speak. Yeah, this is my representation of the Andromeda from well, TV show Andromeda. Um, Interesting. I as you can tell, this is a Smedit. Um, of course. Mainly, yeah, mainly because... This level of detail on this scale would take yeah. an, 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 an unearthly amount of time. Yeah, um, but, and right now there is no interior in it, just because, as I said before, this is kind of a teaser to what it yeah, yeah, yeah. has to come. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's a nice Smedit, though. Did you try smoothing it? Um, I did in my computer crashed. Oh man, you wanna send the uh, <laughs> send the OBJ my way and I'll see if I can do it for you. Alright. Yeah, but um what I have been doing though is when Smedit doesn't really optimize the holes and it leaves big old thick layers of hole every which way, I have been going through this block by block, deleting what is unnecessary and yeah. trying to get it looked a little more natural and a little less than it like. It looks fine from a distance, it looks perfect. Yeah, but if you get up close, it's, it's definitely a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah, but I have been working on this for a good month or so. Um, a lot of the interior was actually completely solid. And I had to go through and hollow it out, or less hollow it out by hand. But as it sits right now, every last part of this is hollow except for part of the interior where I, ha I have placed a little bit of shields and some power and stuff like that, just to get it to move around and be semi-protected. Yeah. But um. As far as that, I am playing on the little hangar down the bottom. Um, you see where it looks like a bottom command center. In front of that, out of the nose, I'm playing on putting just a little hangar down there for a couple shuttles. But other than that, this is just going to be raw firepower and then a lot of cool looking stuff. I am planning on putting the battle blades on it, um, both front and back. Um, it is going to be several different colors, it's not just going to be this gray. Little gray hole, yeah. And also the command center, I'm debating on either putting it in the top disc part or in the center hole area, I haven't decided on that. Well I never really saw that TV show Andromeda, so it's interesting to see a model from that. The ships are pretty, because it's a pretty good organic ship design, it's interesting. Oh yeah, it's, um, it's no longer running on TV. It is an older show, and I have. Yeah. I mean, I'm finding it on Netflix or Hulu or any of those other channels. I kind of have to resort to finding bits and pieces of episodes on YouTube to um, compare the ship. Wasn't Hercules. it? Wasn't it Hercules? The same actor that played Hercules was it that? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Interesting. I think Stargate was cleaning up the market in terms of viewers at that time. Yeah. SG1. <laughs> SG1. That Which ran for like 10 was years. An amazing. Yeah. Amazing run on that one. I loved SG1. Not to say that Andromeda didn't have any good ideas. You know, like this ship design is pretty fresh. Oh, yeah. It reminds me a little bit yeah. of the Babylon 5 inspired stuff. Actually, I have never seen Babylon 5. Yeah, it's, it's, that's I've another old it. show. It's pretty good for in terms of ship design and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been meaning to look it up. I just haven't. It's heavy on the CGI, but sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, back to the ship. So, what was the name of it again? Uh, this is called the Nova Class Titan. Right, and then you are Master Tiberius. So, I just want to thank you first for coming to the lineup review. Can't wait to see this in a later form or another ship from you yep. and uh, yeah thanks to everybody watching I'll see you next time